Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week, we're in Southern Oregon for the Medford Cruise. Now, this show's already been going on for a week, and this is the last weekend of it, but I'm telling you, there's a lot happening here. Poker runs, cruises, dining and dancing, and a great car show in one of the most beautiful parts of the country there is. Let's get around and see some of these Medford rides. Steve, how you doing, man? I'm doing great, thank you, thank you. <laughs> what a nice show, what a nice day, what a nice place. Yeah, this is a very special place, very yeah. special place. Medford is a, it's beautiful here. Yeah, we have, uh, we've had this show for about 34 years, uh -huh. and it just gets better every year. Has it always been in this park here? No, this is a park that we moved to about four years ago. I see. We ran out of space downtown, so this uh -huh. was a, a great venue to move to, and this is a great park. Well now, uh, my goodness, this thing goes on for several days. This started way early in the week, eh? Right? Second weekend. We are eight days into this event. But, but there's, it's like all these different like show and shines throughout the week, right? We try to have something that's special all week long. We got in on, on uh, Thursday and got a chance to uh, go on the poker run, which is, I mean, this is a stunning part of the country. And man, driving through this was really pretty. Yeah, it's good. That's it's a good. good, that was a good 100 miles or so, yeah, right? Yeah, about, about 100 miles. Yeah, we had five stops, you know, and a, the poker run is a part of it on Friday morning. And then last night was a cruise in downtown. Yes. And then a cruise of Main Street. Yes which yes. was really pretty cool. It's different because this is the first year we've done that. We've tried to involve the youth a little uh -huh. bit more. They're, so we have cars that are 80 and newer that were able to cruise last night for the very first time. And it was the old two-lane cruise, so we shut yeah. down Main Street. They, they opposed one another and just rotated downtown. We had a concert down there. This is an extravaganza. You know? <laughs> it's, it's, it's gotten a little out of hand. It we're going to have to call you to help us next year. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I mean, the park's packed. This is a big park, too. Yeah. How many gonna, cars do you think you got? I'm going to say we're breathing on 700 cars. Wow, yeah. that's a lot. Yeah. That's yeah. a lot. That's and some really interesting stuff and some really, uh, I mean, the quality of the car is pretty good out here, too. You know, it's interesting. The car culture in Southern Oregon is alive and well. Southern Oregon is just, I mean, it's just gorgeous here. I grew up in L.A. Yeah. A little more kickback. I love living here. I moved here in 74, and this is just a yeah. great place. It, 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 that's a good way to put it, because it's just really chill here. Really. Yeah. So let's not chill out too much. Let's go look at some cool cars. I'd like that. All right, let's do it, man. Thank you. <laughs> Clayton, I love this truck. I saw you rolling around, well, actually on the poker run. Yes, uh, and yes, then, and then at the cruise last, yes. as, last night. It's just a beautiful 58 Chevy Apache, step side. This was a Father's Day present or something? Yes, it What's was. For my, yes, for my children. It was just beat up and uh, had a V8 in it, so I started to do a uh, frame-up restoration mm -hmm, on it. Mm -hmm. It was all in pieces, and then I ended up uh, having a job opportunity in Hawaii, so we ended up, <laughs> we ended up putting in pieces with our furniture and you container shipped and shipped it in <laughs> pieces to Hawaii. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, I worked on it over there for possibly about eight years. Had to come back, you yeah. know, for different reasons, and uh, it wasn't quite done. So it went on Madsen, went to San Diego, and I had it uh, shipped up here, and then I finished it here. So, <laughs> so it had, had a lot more uh, ocean miles than it did road miles at the time, so. She's just beautiful, beautiful. and it looks like you've done it back, you know, just bone stock almost. Yes, as, as close as I could to stock uh, as I could. You did really a Correct. great job, and Thank you. you've done really the interior pretty stock. The pattern is the same as the, mm -hmm. as the Chevy pattern. The cloth is different than mm -hmm. the factory, but the dash and everything is the same. And she's still got a floor start. It has a floor starter. Gosh. Yes, correct. So I wanted to stay with the floor starter. Wow. I mean, yeah. you just really have done a nice job. It's just gorgeous. Thank so, you know, and I got to believe the you, you left a, the original engine in. Let's have a look. Wow, now, so that's a 235. 235, in line six, dressed up a little. Yes, they usually had these and these covers, and they were an aftermarket that you could buy for them. So, so kind, kind of so, a dealer available aftermarket right, dress up right, kit, right. right? I gotta believe your kids are pretty proud of it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's gonna be, a, it's a family truck. So oh, no it, kidding. It'll, it'll, be, it'll, it'll stay in the family. Man. So, and uh, just enjoy it. So, this yes. is one well traveled 58. Chev Apache. Yes. Thanks for bringing thank it up. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's just a beauty. Yes, thank you. Well, John, this is great. This this is a, a 51 Kaiser Traveler Deluxe, right? Yes. A two-door. Two-door. And I think it may be the only one I've, I've, I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, there's not very many of them left. How many, any idea how many they made? Of this model, 376 of them, I believe. That's it? Dutch Darren actually had 
some uh, involvement in, in this car, right? Uh, yes, he did. Er earlier, uh, he he provided some input for design. His part of the design was what was called the Darren Dip. Absolutely. You see in numerous other cars. Well, in here, you know, sometimes the dip was actually part of the body line. Here it's real subtle, but that chrome piece is sort of the dip. Yeah, yeah. It points that out. And then, you know, they always called that the, the heart windshield, has a heart, similar back window. And you're right, the two-door makes it, makes it even more rare. But this thing looks pretty darn original. And you've got it loaded with a ton of stuff here. And is that a, like an interior swamp cooler, basically? Yeah, it's filled with water and ice, and uh, you got a fan inside there. And just blows it around. Yeah. This thing's just beautiful. And all this uh, side trim, is that chrome or is that polished stainless? Uh, this is all stainless steel. Oh, so that, you know, that just holds up so much better. You had it open for, I mean, the cool thing about this car is the trick that it does. So it's a hatchback. Yes. And these are some of the original ads, right? Oh yeah, what I like about the advertisements is they showed them how it would be used. You got a bear in this one. You got a, a miniature uh, horse in that one. Now, three cars for the price of one. Yeah, we got uh, the manual. Well, that's actually a fishing and camping manual by Kaiser Fraser. Yeah, it was given out at the dealerships. Wow. Is this a hit wherever you take it? Oh, yes. Everybody says they've never seen one before. <laughs> I had never seen one before, and now that's what everybody tells me. Let's go see what powers this baby. Okay. Ooh, uh, that's a big hood, man. <laughs> it's very heavy. So what's the engine? Uh, this is a 226. It's a Continental engine. Okay. Kaiser didn't make their own engines. Kind of one of the reasons why they didn't last too long, you know, in the mid 50s, everybody was getting into V8s. Right. And they didn't have the money to, to spend on newer engines. And it's a six volt positive ground. Yes, it is. I, I put a little sticker on there so people would so know. Be, don't <laughs> jump it the wrong yeah, way, right? Be careful. <laughs> 1951 Kaiser Traveler Deluxe. Two door. Right? Two door. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, John. All Beautiful right, thank car. You, Dennis. So Rico, man, I you know I dig your car, 65 Impala. Thank you. I saw this last night, and before I even saw the car, you know, we got to the cruise in last night, and there were all these really great lowrider bicycles. Then the cruise starts, and the bikes are leading it. So all these bikes, these kids on these awesome lowriders, and then you guys following them, hopping down the street. But you guys have a connection to those bikes too, right? Yes, yes, so we do. So these are being built by the kids, and we're just displaying, you know, the love and affection that we have for them by showing up every day and letting them know that we have the passion and yeah. we share that passion with the kids. So our key is to get the kids with the bikes to go to car shows, and then they'll be judged on their bikes also, just like would it be their cars. So yeah. kids win trophies for these? Yes, they win trophies. Every car show, they will have a trophy for these kids. So yeah, that's the fun part of it. And you guys build some pretty fun cars, too. This 65, I've, I've always loved the 65 Impala. Mm -hmm. Two-door hardtop, really nice. We shot it with the cobalt blue. We put some pearls, some flake in it. Man. And then we had our pinstriping done by Rick Evans. And he does all the pinstripings. Also on the bikes. On the bikes. <laughs> and then he uh, did an art class with the kids. Uh, so all the kids get a little canvas and they get to practice doing some pinstriping. This is really cool. So oh, this, is a, this is a Medford-based club? Yes, yes. I couldn't do it without the help of my club brothers and club sisters. They've, they've been there from the get-go. the club is? Familia Unida, which means family, family united. Family united. And that's what we're about. It's all wow. about family. So, yeah, I mean, you did the whole low rider thing. You got the tiny little wheels. What are those, 12s? Well, 13s. Thir oh, wow, you got, <laughs> got the big ones on there, yeah, huh? Yeah, 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 you're right. <laughs> I mean, you got, I saw you doing all sorts of things. So Yeah, this one, this vehicle itself is bagged. So okay. it's got okay. uh, two, three uh, air tanks on it. Uh -huh. And it's got a York, which is propelled by the engine. Now, do you have to beef the frame any? To, or, yes. You do, it. Yeah, eh? you have to reinforce the frame. Nice interior, too. You kept kind of a, you know, a fairly stock looking 65 right, really right but did it in white i like that and again the lines this roof line i always thought was just just beautiful loved the three tail lights so you know this is not a small car and you're got probably a pretty big compressor under there too yeah. so let's yeah. go look under the hood okay so 283 this is the original 283 in it Pretty good sized compressor. Yes, it is. <laughs> I bet that brings your mileage down. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> it's a working engine because you drive this thing. I it's saw a daily you drive driver. this daily, it's a driver. daily driver for me. Man, oh man. So Rico, 65 Impala, low rider. I, I love the car, love the bikes. I love what you're doing with the kids. Keep it up, buddy. Thank you. Well, Miles, this is a really weird vehicle, uh, and I actually know what it is. Oh. <laughs> this is a, a 1955 Powell, and it's not a truck. 
even though it looks like a truck. Yeah. It's actually a, a sport wagon, right? Yeah, something like a ute. I've seen one other in my life, and there aren't many of them. How hmm. many do they make? Uh, 1,020. Over what period of time? From 55, 56, and only a few in 57. I don't know what it looks like. There's a little bit of international in it. It's even more square than an international, and that's saying a lot. You know, it's really a long wheelbase. Did they build their own frame and everything? No, well, the chassis is the same as the uh, 1941 Plymouth uh, car, P11 and the P12. And they had these, what, the slide windows? Yeah, um, they all had sliding windows, block seats, interior. It's all solid foam, and then the uh, steering column and everything is uh, 41 Plymouth, it's the same as the gauge. I mean, that doesn't look that comfortable. It looks pretty flat and... Yeah, and yeah, and I can't see out to see the stoplights. Uh, yeah. I have to duck down. Yeah, you're a tall guy. Because it's really, uh, <laughs> it's overstuffed. It's just such a strange looking thing. But the thing that makes this truck, actually, sport wagon unique is this feature here. Yeah, it's so, the uh, fishing pole tube. Is that, is that what it is? Yeah. Open it up. Yeah, sure. And, and, and there's our fishing pole. Yeah, and it, it pop, it slides out six feet. That's what it's for? It's for yeah. fishing poles? Yeah, that's, that was the advertisement. Uh, fishing poles and rifles. <laughs> yeah, and it's got a lock, lock deal here on the bottom. So you yeah. put a headlock on it, you can't steal your oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, can, yeah, no kidding. Yep. This thing is just hilarious. And when you take it someplace, do people dig it? Yeah, everybody's loved it so far, and nobody said, yeah, that's a really ugly truck or anything. <laughs> uh, I think that's why they're cheaper, because not too many people you know, yeah. want one. Well, it, I got to tell you, I mean, the lines are a little weird. I mean, yeah. it, it is really, really square. Yep. They were built on a budget. They were $998 when they were new. So its underpinnings are, are 41 Plymouth. Is it power plant also? Yeah, everything. Oh. 41 Plymouth, uh, the 201, the three speed, the rear end, the drive shaft, the everything. Whole thing. Let's go yep. look at it. Yeah, Closest sure. baby up. All right. The powerful, powerful 201 cubic inch flathead six. Oh, and that goes all the way over. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I saw, you know, you're parked over there. You're sitting beside a 41 Plymouth. Yeah. It, it's really the same. Yep. Uh, under the skin, it's the same vehicle. Yep, identical. I own two other cows too, so. You own two other Powells? Yeah. Boy, yeah, it's uh, three, three total. You've almost cornered the market. Yeah, almost. <laughs> yeah. 1955 Powell Sport Wagon. Sport Wagon, wagon yep. Thanks, Miles. Yeah, you're welcome. Cool. Thank you. So, Larry, this is, uh, I mean, I love this car, and, and uh, I was driving around early, and, and, you know, it's this massive boat of a car, and I said, oh, this is really cool. And then wh what made it weirder, though, was I found it was your car, and I know you. <laughs> and I know you from the very first season of the show, which we shot back in 1996. That's right. 1996 in California, and I run into you here in Medford, Oregon with, uh, with a town and country boat. It's, it's a small world, <laughs> It's Dennis. a small world after all, yes. yes. Except this car is not small. This is a 67 Chrysler Town & Country. It's like a car, and then they added another part of a car <laughs> behind it. At first, I thought it was a stretch. It's long. It's long. It's straight as an arrow, too, and there's, there's a lot to be straight here. <laughs> there's a lot of sheet metal to be straight, and you got Man. the unique concave sides, yes. which was unique in 67, 68 only. So I was sort of surprised to see that it had you know, a split bench. Well, it's not really a split bench, no, is it? No, it's a one-piece bench with a fold-down armrest, which was standard equipment on this model. But, I mean, the dash and everything, it, I mean, even the chrome on the yeah. gas pedal and the brake pedal, yeah, all the, all the stainless trim is still all perfect. And all this, everything in here is original? It's all original. This is amazing. Oh, man. I mean, the chrome, the stainless, everything is just incredible. On it. Now, it, and it is the nine passenger with the throw up seat. Right, the correct. Where, where you, the kids sat back there and got car sick, and you had the, uh, the tailgate open before. Open that up because it's sure. got this other It's real car. easy. There's a little handle here. You just pull it. Obviously, the window needs to be down first. Yeah. And then this little flap. Right, what happens is if the third row seat is down, you got a complete low deck, put the back seat down, you get four by eight sheets of plywood in here. Oh my goodness. We'll close it back up and let's go uh, look and see what moves this down the road. Okay, so what are we looking at? You're looking at an original 383, 325 horse, four uh -huh. barrel with a Carter AFB. What is this contraption? That is a very early example of a cruise control. It's called autopilot, it's electromechanical. You can see the electric motor in the back. Right. And then you've got cables that run to and from the speedometer and the transmission that tells it how fast the car is going. Electromechanical. Electromechanically. So, I mean, it's, like, it's like pulling levers and pushing. Pretty much. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's Rube Goldberg at his to best totally. from 52 <laughs> years ago. Well, Larry, 67. Chrysler Town & Country land yacht, if there ever was one. Yes, it is. Thanks for bringing it out, Dennis, man. thanks so much. It's wonderful to see you. Good to see you again after 25 years. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh man, the Medford Cruise is a multi-day extravaganza in one of the prettiest parts of the country there is. Medford, Oregon, you've got to check this one out.